Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Swapna here. Hope you all are staying safe and staying creative. First of all, thank you so much for all your support. We just crossed our 15k subscribers on the small creative family, and that's because all your guys love and passion to create more. Hope you all are enjoying these kinds of videos, and I'm so happy to receive a lot of your creative words and your experiments after seeing these glass cleaning tutorials if you are yet to share some of your words please feel free to message me on instagram uh, last month we had done a tropical series of three to four tropical uh, designs and patterns and i think most of you loved it so last day when i asked you on poll what kind of uh, videos do you like to see i think majority of you wanted to see more of floral glass paintings and i created three to four videos with beautiful florals and these are going to be something different and unique looking one but it is so simple so that everyone can feel confident to try on your own style so so can we just quickly start with today's video so for this painting we just need a couple of colors the colors that i have chosen is an opaque yellow shade and a transparent yellow and ultramarine blue and obviously i need a black liner to transfer this design onto the perspex as you can notice this is how i remove the outer protection layer of the perspex this is a black liner from marabou glass art what i've noticed is that it's it's the consistency is slightly different and so whenever i start a project i need to squeeze out a little bit of the liner in order to get a thick and uniform line and as i always mention i prefer to start the lining from top to bottom or from one side to another so that my hands or fingers will not disturb the already drawn wet lines since this is a simple floral design i'm transferring all the design details at one stretch and as i always say feel free and feel confident to experiment with the designs and patterns and the colors through these tutorials i'm just throwing you some new ideas so that you can experiment on your own there is no right and wrong so feel confident even if you make some mistake don't feel that it's a mistake just try to get over it by practicing you will definitely overcome that fear of going wrong also you will be familiar with the medium and you will feel more confident to experiment don't worry too much about the end result make sure that you enjoy the process of creating now i have completely drawn the design onto the perspex and i will now start painting because the liner is completely dried i'm using this opaque yellow shade from the brand pebio i'll add all the details about the paints and the liner in the description below since the design is small i prefer to use a toothpick or a skewer like this to spread the paint if you don't have a have an opaque paint uh, i will definitely share a tip uh, please wait and watch not just that this toothpick or skewer makes the cleaning part much easier uh, i will definitely get an even spread of paint since i'm using this rather than a brush which will leave strokes this is a pebio lightning medium because i felt that the paint was slightly becoming thick because it was getting dried and i had to use that up so this lightning medium will help me to lighten the paint and spread that more evenly I have experienced this with Pebio paints many times. The shelf life of these solvent based paints are very less. So whenever I tend to keep this for more than 6 months, there are uh, chances that the paint will get dried. As you can notice, unlike brush, the these toothpicks leave no marks or strokes but you need a bit more patience to apply these evenly
If you are painting on a larger surface, make sure that you take the lightening medium and the paint onto a palette and mix it thoroughly before applying onto the surface. As I mentioned earlier, if you don't have an opaque glass paint, there is another interesting alternative. What you can do is you can use any transparent glass paint on the front side and once that layer is dried, flip over the glass or the perspex that you are painting and on that particular place of the design, you can apply white acrylic paint on the reverse side. That will give an almost similar effect. Now in the rest of the portion, I am using this complementary shade Ultramarine Blue which will definitely elevate the whole painting. Now as a background, I am using this very fluid and diluted paint which is Yemen yellow shade from the brand Fevicryl which is also solvent based paint. Whenever you are working with these solvent based paints, make sure that the place is very well ventilated or you are using a respiratory mask because all these paints are solvent based and have very harsh smell which is not good for your health. Before letting this dry, I need to add a slightly blue, uh, light blue shade on certain portions which will just add few more details. So I am using yet another paint from Pebu. These, this is from the fantasy range of paints. But again as you can notice, I am struggling to apply the paint because it is almost dried. Now comes the favorite part of mine which is to play with the backgrounds. Definitely I am using this piece of burlap but just in one portion. So I thought of giving a partition or a border using this black outline. So feel free to experiment yourself, you can add any details. Because I tend to experiment a lot with these liners and I have heard from many of you that you never thought of doing it like that. So the possibilities are endless, definitely you can give it a try. Here I am just highlighting certain portions which were covered using the paint.
this is yet another way to get an interesting swirly pattern using the liner i'm just drawing a line and along the line i'm making this curve without squeezing any more paints that's how i completed the front side of the painting now this is completely dried and i can start playing on the back side my initial plan was just to use this piece of burlap and then i noticed this interesting black and white letters and numbers on a newspaper and i've taken these two pieces and keeping it in this uh, top and bottom portion if you're giving it for a custom framing you can already stick these pieces onto the reverse side of the glass and request them to keep that as background I really had fun creating this background and I was so impressed with the end result. It looks so pretty and cute and will be a beautiful room or office decor. And that's it for today guys. Hope you all enjoyed watching this one. Isn't it so pretty with all the background and the complimentary colors in the front? So I really hope you all will try this out. I would love to see your take on these tutorials. So if you are creating something different, please feel free to message me with your creative photos on my Instagram handle. So if you like this video as usual, please don't forget to like, comment and share this video with your creative friends. And if you are new here, please consider joining the small creative family by pressing that subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you'll get all the notifications once I upload new interesting and unique arts and crafts videos. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Bye.